We'll show you a case study here, a recent one out of a prominent university in Hong Kong. Uh, this client was an existing Peplink customer, um, but in the response to COVID-19, this university had to close all of their classrooms, send all of their professors home, and try and resume operations remotely. And right away, it became immediately apparent that the professor's internet connections just weren't good enough in a lot of cases to sustain a productive classroom setting. Doing remote video instruction live over the internet sounds great, and it, it definitely makes this challenge easier, but the problem is, again, it, it's all hinged on that last leg, that, that professor's internet connection. If that's not good, none of the students are gonna have a productive experience. And so they were scrambling to try and find a way to make this uh, remote presentation system work better so that it could be a productive tool for their their students to use. So what they did is they took our new Peplink UBR and they deployed that to all their professors homes and so they've got landline and cellular connections at the professors homes. So the UBR is a two modem product. It's got two different cellular radios in it and then you can also plug it into a landline WAN. So you've basically got three different internet connections that you can use to protect your your traffic, whatever's important to you, and, and in this case, those, those remote video lectures. So each professor was sent out a Peplink UBR, they plugged it into their home broadband, and then they used the dual cellular connections to augment that home broadband, because again, that home broadband just wasn't high enough quality to really sustain these videos. So that, that system tunneled all that traffic to the cloud, all of that, all of that remote lecture material got wrapped up with speed fusion so it was triple protected up to the cloud and then all of the students were able to log in remotely using their own existing internet connections to view that video so let's take a bigger let's take a deeper look at the ubr lte so again like i said there's two cellular connections in here you can see antenna ports for cellular one cellular two it's got built-in Wi-Fi, it's got that Ethernet WAN port, and then four Ethernet LAN ports, so you can get all kinds of devices, phones, computers, cameras, whatever you need plugged into this device. It's got a ruggedized power connector. But again, the, the real magic here is speed fusion. You've got two different cellular connections and one wired connection so that you can utilize all sorts of different connections to protect your traffic. So you can do all sorts of traffic steering policies so that perhaps you're, you're doing remote meetings over Skype. You can tell the UBR, okay, I wanna protect my Skype traffic using WAN smoothing. WAN smoothing gives you that packet duplication so that you don't get any loss in video quality, you don't get any gaps in your audio. But let's say for your email, you could send that over a hot failover, just so that if one of your links suddenly goes down, that email doesn't stop sending, it just seamlessly switches over to a different link. So again, you can create custom outbound traffic steering policies to protect the traffic with the most appropriate speed fusion policy. 